everybody and a warm welcome to my channel Tarot by Isabella. I am very happy to see you here and I hope you're all doing fine even if we live in very strange and turbulent times for the moment. Today's video will be a reading about the farmers protest in Europe and to do this reading I'm gonna use my tarot cards, oracle cards and some dice. But before we begin this reading I must thank you all wonderful viewers for all of your support to this channel. It is very heartwarming and it helps so much to continue doing more videos and I'm very grateful for that. I also need to make a short scam warning. Please be aware there are a lot of scammers out there uh, even on this channel and on the telegram groups pretending to be me using my profile photo, trying to sell crypto, other strange of things. This is not me. I never contact you for first. I never sell anything, promote anything or do personal readings. So please be careful out there if some, if in case you should be contacted by anyone pretending to be me. Uh, the correct email address to me, you will find it down in the description and also the link to backup channel on Rumble and the Telegram group link. Uh, what's more, uh, on the Telegram group the, uh, we communicate to each other with each other in English, so it's an English-speaking Telegram group. If you want to post something, please make sure you have translated it to English. And if it's an article or something in another language in English, make sure you have a short description what and the article is about, so all other members can uh, benefit from from what you want to share. And if you want to post a video in another language than English, make sure that that video have at least English subtitles or yeah, English speech, uh, and maybe a short description what the uh, video is about. So it's an English speaking group, please respect that since we are members from all around the world and it's important that everyone can take part of in vital information and the telegram group is mostly for spreading news what's going on in this world since the mainstream media does not really do its job, job properly and sometimes we need um, alternative uh, news channels you can call it Okay, well, what about the farmers' protest? Uh, the last weeks, um, farmers are protesting a lot in Europe, and uh, a lot of those protests are due to that the EU with new directives, and they really want to crush the farmers. They want to put heavy taxes on them, a uh, lot of laws against this, against that. So, they really don't want the farmers there. Mm. And the big corporations, they really want to take over the farmers' lands, uh, push the GMO produced crops, insects, lab meat, and so on. And um, real farmers are not really good for them. And they try this CO2. Uh, carbon emission stupidities and anyone who knows a little bit about biology knows that the plants need uh, CO2 to uh, grow and survive without CO2 we will not have any plants on this planet and without plants there is no uh, animal life and absolutely no human life and that's the ultimate ultimate goal of the global elite to eliminate as much humans as they can and those that they have left feed them with um, yeah GMOs and lab grown meats and all kinds of strange toxic things uh, and also uh, since there is a big conflict going on between country R and country U and the EU uh, must send a lot of billions of billions of euros to uh, the country U. And they need that money and of course who's gonna pay for that if not 
uh, you and me, normal people, and especially extra taxes on the farmers. And everything is very corrupt on the highest level. And the farmers, they look through that and they protest and it seems like they are not um, uh, backing down, stepping down. And the protests, farmers' protests are growing, country after country are joining. And uh, since this EU directive is affecting all the farmers in Europe, so everyone have have felt it and with higher prices on diesel and so on and so on. So of course, uh, when you lose everything and you have nothing more to lose, you will protest since you will not lose anything with it. And uh, many farms are generation of the generations and a lot of people in Europe are so dumbed down through the media, through uh, the food, the air, whatever they're putting out there. And they are in their little bubble. They don't really see the, what is going on. The children thinks that um, fish sticks, you buy them from the shop. They don't even know that they come from a fish in the ocean. Or oh, the bread, you find it in the shop. It's not, the wheat is not grown on the farm. A lot of, lot of people in Europe have lost their connection to the farms. And without the farmers, there is no food. And without food, we have no future. So, uh, hitting the farmers, as EU doing right now, is only a sign what they really want to do uh, with us humans and life on Earth. So this farmer protest is not only about um, directives of higher tax and higher prices on diesel. It's even more. And um, we must understand that uh, a farmer works seven days a week, uh, all the year around, taking care of the lands, the animals, everything. And there is no, not so much to gain financially from it. And now when they want to squeeze out the last pennies from those farmers that feed us all, uh, yeah, there will be chain reactions. And um, started in Holland, Netherlands, spread to Germany, and France, and Poland, and Finland, and Greece, and Italy. So it's spreading everywhere people are waking up and normal people who understands a little bit they see uh, the big importance that the farmers have and they support the farmers just an example mm, macaroni of france while france was under uh, paris was under siege and the farmers were really protesting he went to Sweden to talk to the Queen and King of Sweden about climate change and how to um, how to make the climate better. Listen, come on. Yeah, but anyway, I will look into this today about the farmers' protest. Uh, if there is any evil forces behind it, uh, what will be the end result, and so on, and. To do that, this, I will have to shuffle my tarot cards a little bit first. Yeah, I also want to mention I have attached some links links down in the description about the farmer protest. And it's a little bit about mainstream media news, but also some other people's views on this um, farmer's protest. And one have to remember... Uh, the media is so quiet about these big protests, and these big protests are extreme. They are blocking highways, uh, blocking uh, food chains. Uh, a lot of supermarkets in Paris are empty shelves. Strikes are coming after that. Now also truckers and taxi drivers, all kinds of 
professions are joining with this um, movement of farmer protest and media media is silent here in sweden there is nothing 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 on the news what is going on in europe totally quiet and it's so in the core corrupt mm. really really corrupt i even saw today you know yesterday when i was out they begin to sell eggs from ukraine in sweden from ukraine yeah as as we don't have swedish eggs or other european eggs no they're importing a lot of products from the ukraine i, will, I wonder if not the ukrainian need their products to eat also but anyway so there are other things behind the scenes here well now uh, first i'm gonna take some cards on uh, overall what it, uh, this farmer protest is about and let's see what the cards have to say what is the farmer's protest about and I'm going to use some oracle cards. And some dice. This was empty. I need another one. Well, the cards, they look like this. Let's see what we got here. In the tarot cards, we have Six of Wands, King of Swords, Eight of Cups, Nine of Swords, and Ace of Coins. On the Oracle cards, we have a letter, Ascending the Mountain, Keep Going Forward, a sarcophagus with... Uh, Anubis. Then we have Explore, Lover, and on the dice we have a Tower, Ice, uh, Castle Underwater, and Peace. Mm. Well, the former protest was not really expected by the globalist elite in the EU. They were counting on some kind of protest, but they could not, um, how I say, they, they were not prepared for the protest to grow so big. Uh, and they are really trying to trash down the farmers. They are spreading a lot of lies about the farmers. And when you see, in case you see some news, because they are hiding a lot of news, um, you see a lot of uh, news uh, where they picture the farmers in very bad, uh, bad light. Like they are throwing rocks while they were throwing eggs. And uh, like they are very gangsters of some kind. And that is so far from truth. 
since a lot of farm farmers they are really behaving but when a protest is protest uh, sometimes the feelings go over uh, over the, over the line it's their livelihood that's in stake the children's future our future so they have to make a point and how to wake up the masses if not to make blockades here and there when you cannot go and find uh, the shelves uh, filled with food in the supermarkets maybe you begin to think uh, about the importance of a farmer so, uh, so the um, the escalation of this protest was not expected from the elite they were expecting some kind of protest but not as big not as uh, many people joining and as many countries joining in this protest as it is today mm. and the farmers have very good communication with each other the unions uh, a lot of farmers uh, well, they are connected to different kind of unions, but the unions will have not really done their work either. So they have been doing a lot of the elites' um, work. Yeah. And a lot of farmers have seen through that, and they will continue to protest uh, without the acceptance of different farmers' union. Mm -hmm. And people in Europe, they, they have been affected through the last three years of um, strange diseases, uh, with war, with warmongering. And they all, uh, the elite are keeping the people in the Western world in a high tension and people are tired. And now the farmers, they, they, they didn't think that the farmers would have so much energy, so much strength to go out in protest in that and that amount that they are doing. Mm -hmm. And the eyes are on the farmers. And uh, King of Swords, for me it's a military. And the military are watching over this. In case the government will use too much violence, because they will try to use violence against the farmers, at some point, it could be that the military will stop, step in and uh, don't allow that. Mm. And uh, there have been reports uh, from Belgium and The Hague where outside the European Parliament the farmers are gathering hundreds of tractors and really, really protesting. And they have been attacked by uh, uh, water cannons and rubber bullets, bullets and so on. Mm -hmm. But according to the cards, it doesn't seem that the farmers will back down. It will grow. And while it, it grows, the mainstream media will begin to report, but they will try to make the farmers look like criminals. Mm. Yeah, they will not show the other side why they really are protesting what is really behind at the end I have the lovers and ace of cups and the peace on the uh, dice so it looks like um, this protest will continue until the farmers will uh, be respected and a lot of changes will have to happen in the EU. Personally, I don't think EU will continue as an organization for so much long. But, but anyway, it doesn't look like the farmers will lose this time. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to take some cards to see if there are any dark forces behind the farmers protest is this arranged from some higher darker instance and 
elite instance uh, just to make problem problems in uh, Europe um, to make confusion or is this protest really something that comes uh, from the suffering, from the frustration of our farmers. some dice. The cards, they look like this. Let's see what we got. In the tarot card, we have uh, Ten of Coins, Knight of Wands, Knight of Coins, Eight of Swords, Six of Swords. On the Oracle card, we have a Clover, Compass, Anger, and on the dice, we have my Work Life, the Sun, and uh, Balloons. According to the cards, I don't see any evil forces behind this farmer's protest. It really comes from my work life, hardworking uh, farmers, men and women, who are trying to make an earning, who sees that they are uh, tied down, eight of uh, sorts, um, frustration, desperation. And Six of Swords, so it's in many countries, is spreading to many countries. This frustration, this anger, we have anger here, um, it's not only for one place. It's almost all farmers all around Europe and all the places in the world that are being taken advantage of. Mm? Big corporation trying to grab and steal the lands for all kinds of nefarious and um, not so healthy projects for humanity. Uh, we have the compass here. So they are the farmers' protest. They are organized. They are very much organized. And um, they are looking for directions how to solve it. But it seems like uh, they will have a lot of success in their struggle. We have the sun here and we have balloons. So at the end, when this is over, um, there will be occasion for celebration. Mm -hmm. And many farmers know the role EU have played in the in the, the farmers' problems, and I have seen many clips where farmers are burning the EU flag and so on. Maybe, yeah, one can only wonder why. Okay, so no uh, dark forces behind this protest. It's, it's a protest made of frustration and suffering. Mm -hmm. And uh, now I'm going to take some less cards for the farmer's protest. What will be the outcome? Are there any danger? Is there something uh, we should look out for? Mm -hmm. And remember, we must respect the farmers. Without the farmers, our shelves are empty. Our bellies are empty. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have also 
to teach our children the importance of farmers because that is lost. So much other things are taught to the children that is of no use. Everyone should know and learn in school how to grow, how to take care of the earth and the animals. And that is for the respect of all living and also to be a part of the future and not depending on big corporations, junk food and lab uh, GMO products. Mm -hmm. That make you sick. But then we have other corporations, the big pharma, that come with a solution when you get sick from the GMOs and pesticides and all the kinds of shit that, sorry, they use uh, to feed us with. Okay, well, last cards for the far farmer's process. Sorry, I was drifting away. Uh, last cards for the farmer's protest. And some this. Oops, sorry, something fell down here. The last cards, they look like this. Let's see what the last cards have to say. In the tarot cards, we have um, seven of coins, nine of wands, page of coins, the magician, and knight of swords. On the oracle cards, we have a snake, the sun, a house. On the uh, dice we have a pair of glasses, backpack and a hand with a drop of blood. Mm -hmm. The final cards. Through this what's happening in um, with the farmers protest, the snakes are being exposed. The light on the snakes are coming up. People will be more aware who are the snakes in this um, big corrupt organization uh, of Europe? Mm -hmm. And the glasses. So people will see them more clearly. They will try to come with some kind of solutions. Oh, we'll agree on this and that. But this is just little, little stuff. They really want to push their agenda through, um, but but say, okay, we agree on this, we agree on that, just to calm the farmers down. But they will be exposed. So this these promises that the EU uh, say they will do, the changes will make life better for farmers, is just temporary changes, a little changes that will really, really do nothing. Mm. And the magician, um, the illusion of what is going on will bleed. So they will not be able to keep up um, this illusion, especially the media. They will bleed. And here we have Knight of Swords. So some kind of, I will not say takeover, but it could be that some kind of military uh, will stand behind this. Mm -hmm. to make 
um, the media bleed. And the farmers, they all used to work hard. They can be out. We have the backpack. So they have packed uh, for this pro uh, protest. And it seems like it will not stop so quickly. I see it will escalate and it will become worse until big changes happen or until a lot of people uh, will wake up in Europe to what is going on uh, with their leaders, what they really are involved with. Mm -hmm. I take one card as a final card. Uh, no, I'm just going to take one card uh, to ask how long will this protest go on? How long will the farmers continue to protest? I have uh, Ace of Wands. Could be one month, could be a whole year. Mm -hmm. uh, so it doesn't seem like they're going to quit so easily. Or they're going to continue until they get what they want. Mm -hmm. And they will get what they want because the last card is Six of Wands. And Six of Wands stands for victory and success. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of snakes will be exposed through this uh, farmer's protests. Okay, that was my answer for um, this reading about uh, the farmer's protest. And uh, to all of you wonderful viewers out there, I want to thank you so much for watching. And also, uh, try to spread the words about the farmer's importance to to us people. And uh, if one can support as much as we can, it's good. And uh, never, never uh, underestimate the importance of the hardworking farmer. Okay, a lot of farmers um, also use pesticides and things like that, not so healthy things on the land, but there are also a lot of farmers that don't. So um, if a farmer had a possibility, I think a lot of them would not use these um, pesticides and chemicals on their crops and would go for more organic and natural way to produce our food. But anyway, it still looks like uh, things are going in a um, good direction for the farmers' protest. It will become very big and it will be felt by many of us. And we have to endure because without the farmer, no food, no future. Thank you so much for watching again. And uh, if you liked what you have seen and heard, Please don't forget to press like button, share button and subscription button. Bye bye.